he'll never fall for it. Yes, he will. No, he won't. Totally fall for it. Fanfest this weekend? Excited? Could be, if I had the slightest idea what Fanfest Fling was. It's the one day of the year dedicated to love and romance. Hmm. Well, we have the same thing. Only it's called Valentine's Day. Is there no romance in your soul? There's no soul in my soul. I'm dead, remember? <laughs> Thanks. So, this Fanfest Fling is a party, right? I can't wait. You're gonna have to. It's couples only. Who says? Serena. She runs the fling. So unless you've got a mystery boyfriend tucked away... Of course she hasn't. <laughs> I mean, if you'd like, me and you could pretend we were a couple. And then there's always the danger of someone challenging us and we'd have to prove that we're a couple. And maybe we'd have to kiss. And nuzzle. But that's okay. I'm prepared to do that. For a friend. Thanks, Bobby. But there's a principle here. Time to change the world again? Yep. One stuck-up vampire princess at a time. <laughs> You're right, he totally fell for it. <laughs> I think it's fair that the Fangfest fling is for couples only. Oh dear. Well, I'm in charge, and I think it keeps the roof rough out like you three for a start. <laughs> well, maybe it's time someone else took over. You want to take me on? Go head to head, one on one? Do we have to fight or something? No, it's a school vote. Oh. In that case, yeah. I'll take you on, and I'm going to kick your saggy butt. Right, team? <laughs> if Summer is not here in the next 30 seconds, I shall have great pleasure in declaring this contest null and void and name Serena the winner. Hold the boat, I'm here. Curse. <laughs> you can't sit fine. I've been up all night researching my speech. Why aren't you blinking? I had ten cups of that energy drink you gave me to keep me going. What was in that, by the way? Liquidised bat's guts. <laughs> Why do I ask? But mainly coffee, which explains that fetching brown line along your top lip. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Serena, ready to rumble? Come on, show me what you got. Fang face. I'm ready. Bring it on. Sure you only had ten cups? Mm -mm. Hold on. <laughs> Pupils of Stoker, I have only one thing to say. Do we really want an outsider, a, a human, to come here and tell us how to run our fang fest? As a proud Transylvanian, I urge you to just say no. And one other thing. Do you really want to make me mad? <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, first of all, Serena's right. It's not my place to come here and change the way you run the fang fest flick. Great, that's settled then. Can we all go? Because I've got a manicure booked. Slow down, Batgirl. I'm just getting started. <laughs> yes, uh, but it's not me that's messing with the traditions of the fling. It's Serena. We've all worried about being the only one that doesn't get a single Valentine's card, uh, Fangfest, sorry. And it's even worse when the one you did get came from your dad. <laughs> OK, maybe that was just me. <laughs> I'm pumped! But the fan first fling never used to be just about couples. Everyone was included. Take a look at the pictures from the old school newspaper. The pictures, come on. <laughs> Ghouls mixing with zombies, the maths club dancing with the drugs, and if you think you recognise that handsome young vampire hugging everyone in sight, oh, you are right. That is our very own Dr Tempest. Who knew retro flares and a perm could look that hot? <laughs> <laughs> How 
how are you singles going to become couples if you can't even go to the fling? Vote for me and let me put the love back in. <laughs> Rolf, do something. What? She's good. <laughs> I think my coffee hit's worn off. <laughs> What's that noise? Don't look at me. No, I mean really, don't look at me. Since that insane rant at school, I can't even look you in the eye. <laughs> Maybe Leo's doing some crazy experiment. It sounds like it's coming from the living room. Funny. In our house, we call it the unliving room. What's going on? We called the band. We called the Jolters. Because that's what we do to our audiences. <laughs> Clever, because it's also your names combined, Jake and Bob. That's good. Uh, no, it's not. Because then it would be the Bakes. <laughs> he pops this. That noise was you, was it? Yeah. We call it Transylvanian trance. <laughs> does it hurt? No. Oh, but it does this to my hair. <laughs> and I think I'm growing an extra toe, but apart from that, it has no effect at all. <laughs> hey. Maybe you could book us for the fling. He's right. We're going to need some music. I'm not sure that's what you call this, though. <laughs> Actually, the music's already been sorted. I was going to keep it as a surprise, but I'm too excited. Last night, when I was researching, I discovered that Ronnie from Ronnie and the Blatant Mutants used to go to our school. I think he had a bit too much bat skirts. <laughs> that's just a myth. Really? Take a look at this old school yearbook. Given the hair, snip that, reshape this, twist. Oh, Ronnie! Jim, it's definitely Ronnie. But Ronnie and the Blatant Mutants are the hottest band in Transylvania. There's no way they'd play at the fling. Well, I've already spoken to their manager, who reckons Ronnie will get a real kick out of playing back at his old school. No way! No way! It's Ronnie, as in Ronnie! <laughs> <laughs> so I like Ronnie. Get over it. This fling's gonna rock. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna get Ronnie to autograph my forehead. Then I'm gonna get it tattooed in so it's there forever. Heidi, you're just like my mum. Why does everyone want to stifle my creativity? I don't care which bits of you he signs, but we agree to keep Ronnie under wraps until he confats. Oh, great. Here it comes. What? Serena's revenge. There's no way she'll take the fact you beat her lying down. You're right. Hell hath no fury like a vampire beaten in a public vote. I think she'll turn violent. She's got the blood of Vlad the Impaler and the Prince of Darkness coursing through her veins. You have to say it's a possibility. It's OK. I'll protect you. Great. Now, who's going to protect you? <laughs> it's OK. I can handle this. To say sorry for the other day. Thanks. Don't want any trouble, OK, Serena? It was a democratic vote. It makes me so sad the way people always think the worst of me. All I wanted to do was congratulate you. Oh, thanks. I'm sure yours is going to be the fling we all remember. It's oh, not true what people say. You're not a self-absorbed up-your-self-control freak. <laughs> but you are a big teacher's butt-kisser. That is true. Heidi, <laughs> I'm making friends here. I have to give you this. It's all the funds the social committee put by for running the fling. Hmm. <laughs> Two turnips and a bag of party poppers. Sorry, that is a mistake. The party poppers are mine. <laughs> you see, as chair of the social committee, I've decided to use all the money we raised to run my own alternative party. It's called Transylmania, same time as your fling, but at the stakeout. Couples only. Be there or be a social non-entity. Let's see which of us gets the most guests. You can't get more democratic than that now, can you? <laughs> Great. What kind of lame-o party are we going to throw with no money? What kind of a party if we can't buy food and drink? Now we're going to entertain people with two turnips. Don't tempt me. It's OK. It's OK. We've still got Ronnie. 
I'll just announce that Ronnie and the blatant mutants are going to play at the fling. After that, people won't care if I throw a dead horse in a bucket of swamp water in a trough and call it a buffet. But that is a buffet. <laughs> everyone, I have something to say. BTW, everyone. I'm excited to say that I've just this second confirmed that the music at my Transylvania will be provided by Stoker's most famous old boy, Ronnie and the Blatant Mutants. Yes! <laughs> no way. No way have you nabbed Ronnie. Hello. <gasps> it's Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. I'm your biggest fan. OK, Ronnie, baby. See you Saturday. How did you find out he went to the school? A little bird told me. And by that, I do mean your outrageously stupid brother. <laughs> See you. Really wouldn't want to be you. We made one big mistake voting for you to run the school fling. He's right. I have let everyone down. I'm about to be responsible for the worst fanfest fling ever. <sighs> the way Rolf looks at his food. It's not your fault. It is, Bobby. I've let everyone down. What kind of fan fest flame doesn't have food, doesn't have drinks, and doesn't have a bat? A jerk one. Oh. <laughs> I see. What are you going to do? Move to a new school, extensive plastic surgery? <laughs> I vote for living in your locker until it all blows over. <laughs> no. No, Bobby, ring my mobile, but don't let anybody see. First of all, we have to make people forget about Serena having Ronnie. Hello? You're joking! <laughs> the Jolters are playing at the Fangfest Fling! <laughs> That's amazing! I can't believe it! Are you sure? That's fantastic! The Jolters are playing at the Fling! This is going to be the gig of the century! The Jolters? <gasps> Isn't that Jake and Bob? Yes! <laughs> Only the coolest band come out of Transylvania in the past five centuries. You've heard of them, right? The Jolters? Of course. Are we lucky or what? Are we? Cool. <laughs> and word of mouth will do the rest. Exactly. They'll form an angry mob. Shake and bolt aren't that good. Trust me, they're going to practice. And at least we've got a band. But there's still no cash for anything else. Food, decorations... Way ahead of you. We can raise money. If we run a postal service to deliver romantic fangfest love tokens between the students, we can charge for each parcel a card. We did it at my old school on Valentine's Day. That's a lot of delivery. Yeah, it's about 200 parcels each between the three of us. We can call it Gorgrams. Have you heard? It's this brilliant new band called The Jolters. They've stolen our name. Well, I reckon we should sue. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff that needs delivering. We can do this. Just fill your sacks and let's get going. And you two get practicing. We're on it. Oops. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hi, huh? 
helped you. Get it? You need to watch that punch. Oh! <laughs> I told you. We did it, Hyde. The hall looks great. There's plenty to eat and drink. And we've got a band. The Jolters. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good band, but the fling is back on. You'll never guess. The Jolters are playing Transylvania! <laughs> no. You're playing here, at The Fling. No, we were. But Serena says we play at her party. We get to support Ronnie and the Blatant Mutants. And she'll pay us. You don't mind, you? Of course I mind. If you walk out, I've got no band. OK, if it's that much of a problem, we won't play for Serena. Definitely not. <laughs> we'll just tell her we're already booked. By you. Exactly. Great. So we did sign a contract. <laughs> <laughs> It says if you don't turn up, all your major organs will be removed and liquidised. That's harsh. <laughs> it's no biggie for me because I've got lots of spares at home. <laughs> Where have you just go? Sorry, sis. souffle that didn't rise. <laughs> and unless by some miracle you found yourself a boyfriend, I am going to have to ask you to leave. Don't worry, I'm not staying. I just came because there's a few things I want to say to your face. Sorry, no time for your rantings. The door's open in half an hour and, unlike you, I've got a party to organise. <laughs> Ronnie? You got it. And don't tell me this is suddenly the greatest day of your life. I'm Summer. OK. Summer? Where do you want me to autograph? Yeah. I'm the one that asked you to play at the fling. You do realise that's where you should be playing. It's for everyone. Serena's couples only rule excludes people. People like you. <laughs> like me. Hello, I'm Ronnie Mutant. I have no trouble getting dates, never have. Really? Even back when you were in school, Dwayne Tweedle? <laughs> Where'd you hear that name? Allowing for essential medical procedures to fix all this, it's still clearly you. I can see where this is going. Blackmail, right? I come along and play Fang Fest Fling and you don't tell anyone I used to be a freak. Tempting, but I'd never stoop that low. What's wrong with being a freak anyway? There are lots of freaks coming to the Fling. You know, you may look normal now and have a cool name, but on the inside you're still Dwayne Tweedle. And if Dwayne was at Stoker now, he wouldn't be loud through that door. Nice. You know what, if you want to play at Transylvania, it's fine. Maybe you're not worthy to play at the fling after all. Have a good gig. By all accounts, the stake out's pumping. I'm going to be about as popular as double detention for the rest of my time here. I say we photocopy loads of pictures of Dwayne Tweedle and post them around the school. <laughs> Tell everyone Ronnie's little secret. <laughs> yeah, I gave my word. Integrity is so limiting. <laughs> hmm. Maybe Jake and Bolt burnt the steak out down. Yes! <laughs> Thought about what you said and realised that there's a lot of Dwayne's at Stoker that never got a look in. But you've changed that. You've rocked. <laughs> now let's set this fling alive. We are the Jolters. How could Ronnie do this to me? Where are you going? You know how much I love Ronnie and the mutants. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Now, technically, you should leave too, because this is a couple's only party and your boyfriend just... <laughs> uh, we're still getting paid. <laughs> <laughs>
You put on the best ever Fangfest fling, and it's for everyone. And there's not a mouldy turnip inside. Well, I couldn't have done it without my team. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go sort out the light show. Actually, you might as well have that. Okay, thanks. And you might as well open it now. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Okay, people, let's hear it for the girl who made all this possible. Summer! I still had my party outfit in the wardrobe. Is the timeless Nick Doctor T timeless? <laughs>